Hey guys, I hope all of you are having a great day, but I have some exciting news. Well, maybe exciting, but um, those of you who are on my channel get to hear it first before any of my students do. But the exciting news is Godiva's pregnant again. Was not expecting this, and it should not have happened. I did everything by the book. I took Butterfinger out at three weeks, exactly three weeks, actually the night before three weeks, and assumed everything was fine because they say take them out after three weeks because that's when they're around um, sexual maturity. Well, about four days before I separated them, Godiva went into heat, and evidently, yeah, you get the picture. So, we'll just... I'm excited about it, but I'm not because this is another chance that she could die from or have complications and um, was not planning on her having three litters. Wasn't planning on her having two litters. If you guys have heard, the first litter didn't make it because um, my dog kind of got to it. That was a complete accident, obviously. Um, second litter, everything's fine. I mean, they're even part of our channel now. But this third litter was unexpected. So my next group of nine week kids are going to get to see a birth. So that'll be exciting for them. Just hope Godiva, everything goes well and the babies are fine. And I did do some research um, that the baby should be okay. There shouldn't be any deformities. The only time there's deformities is if um, they are carrying bad genes. And as you can see, Godiva ha ha does not have the gene called Rome gene. What that is is where they're spotted white, like speckled, like salt and pepper white. Well, she's not. She's just full white in certain sections, brown and that. So, and both Carmel is the same way. He's got one spot under his leg is white. So, there's no speckled white anywhere. These babe last babies turned out fine. So, usually if one of the parents has the Rome gene, then it most likely will show up in one of the babies, but because um, neither of them have it and none of the babies did, so I don't expect any deformities. If there are, they'll be, I'll keep them, but the other ones have already got expected homes, so I've known about it for several weeks. Noticed her tummy getting bigger, so um, anyway, that is the exciting news. She will have the babies around January 15th. I already did the math, so it's around that time after Christmas. So look forward to that video. And um, I should be updating the channel here pretty soon. It's really hard with an iPad. I am getting a GoPro and for Christmas. And so the videos will be much better and I will be doing more like instructional videos on how to make toys and um, more about guinea pig care. So look forward to that. This week I will also be filming a Christmas special. The, the cage will be decorated for Christmas and um, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.